The Albert Hansen Lumber Company office is a large two-story gallery building constructed of cypress. It is located in the heart of the former sawmill town of Garden City. Although the building makes a rather grand statement and is nicely detailed, it does not fit easily into any style category. Hence, the term no style is being used in the architectural classification section. This structure has such a unique, never-before-seen style that it is one of the few entered into the Library of Congress. Alterations have been minimal. The Hanson Lumber Company office has two important elevations. The one now considered the rear was historically the front because it faced the sawmill. The present front elevation faces what is left of the sawmill town built by Mr. Hansen. Each facade has a colossal order gallery beneath a flared roof extending from the main tripped roof. Naver extends the complete width of the building, with the one on the present rear being the narrower of the two. The columns are fluted and the capitals are most unusual, featuring a typical Doric capital surmounted by a block capital with curved cuts and a molded top. They are unevenly spaced on the present rear to allow for the main entrance. Pilasters define the edges of the galleries. Incorporated into each gallery is a full-width cantilevered balcony. Windows are two over two. The Hanson Lumber Company office is of state significance in the area of industry because it is one of a limited number of resources left to directly represent the great Louisiana lumber boom. The period of significance spans from C.1900, the date of construction, to 1943, the 50-year cutoff for significance. The building served as the lumber company office until the 1950s, and the lumber industry remained an important force in the state past the 50-year cutoff. Industrial lumbering was one of the major historic forces in the development of Louisiana, and indeed the entire South. In fact, it was about the only bright spot in an otherwise weak post-Civil War economy. Until the 1880s, Louisiana's vast forests were largely untouched. It was then that large-scale industrial lumbering began in earnest. During the so-called golden years of the Louisiana lumber boom, 4.3 million acres of timber were cut, with Louisiana consistently ranking second in the nation in production.